Question is from Thunderbolt. I've been having chronic shoulder pain, which makes it difficult and painful to bench press. Are there any other exercises that work the chest without using shoulders? You're asking the question. Uh, you're asking. You want the wrong answer. You want to go around it. Yeah. yeah, that's not the right. One. Are there exercises that you could do that won't hurt your shoulder that'll work the chest? Yes. Are they going? Are you going to? Is this going to result in reduced? Are there performance? Maybe. I mean, no. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do for the chest. It there's nothing way. you can do with the chest that doesn't incorporate I, the shoulder. What I mean is, I'm sure there's exercises that right. will not Let, bother. It won't stress. Yeah, as much. that won't bother his shoulder. But then he's going to lose strength and he's going to lose performance because he's going to be avoiding the best, most best exercises. Or he's, and he's not addressing the root cause. That's it. Mm-hmm. Like the real question should be: I've I've been having chronic shoulder pain, which makes it difficult and painful to bench press. What can I do to get my shoulders to stop hurting? Right. So I would take a break on your heavy benching, and I would focus on shoulder mobility, uh, upper back thoracic mobility, and really figure out why the hell are your shoulders hurting in the first place. Because you're going to be avoiding some of the best, like bench presses and incline presses, okay. are some of the best chest building exercises you could do listen this is extremely common Mm -hmm. this is very very common because because of upper cross syndrome okay which is the the rounded shoulders and the forward head which almost everybody has this it's just most of us it's it's like not it's it's you know a spectrum right of how bad it's built into the environment it is because we do everything in front of us we don't ever do anything behind us so of course we're it's going to train our body to be closing forward now when you're doing the bench press, it is not advantageous for you to be in that position. It is more ideal for you to be in a retracted position to where your shoulders are peeled back. But that's hard to do that because your brain just tells you to get this weight up. And if your default pattern is to always allow the shoulders to roll forward because you're that way most of your day, and you get under a 200-pound bench press, you pull that bar off, and then you drop it down, your body just goes, get this bar up. And what it'll do is it'll push everything forward. But you need to be able to stabilize the shoulder girdle and keep it peeled back while you press this is why we created a program like prime pro and arguably the most valuable program that we created when you think when i think of everybody athletes trainers uh your your advanced age clients people just getting into working out to me that is those programs prime and prime pro in my opinion should be in everybody's exercise library just because Everybody's going to deal with stuff like this, whether it be the shoulders, the ankles, the hips. Mm -hmm. And instead of trying to find exercises that don't bother it, like Sal said, you need to figure out why that is, especially when it's chronic pain. And we're not talking about acute injuries. We're not talking about somebody who fell and broke their arm or or tore their rotator cuff. We're talking about somebody who, man, I don't know what I did, but when I bench, it just aggravates the shit out of my shoulder. Well, that's not fucking normal. That's, I mean, it's normal in the fact that a lot of people deal with it. But it's not normal that your body should feel that way doing a fundamental movement like a bench press. So let's figure it out and let's address it. Now, we we don't see you in front of us, so I can't say for sure. But more than likely, the point that Sal's making is probably correct. Uh, And before you go into benching, what you should do is prime really well. In fact, I know that I just did, we all did their, our, our Friday fitness tips that go up on our Instagram page. And I actually gave uh, a, a tip in regards to bench pressing. And the tip that I gave was uh, about priming before you get into that because of this exact situation, because I know that this is super common. A lot of clients of mine would do this. And I suffer from this. Like as to this day, okay, if I get into a bench press, a lot of times when I get under there, the, my shoulder is clicking and I can feel it like catching mm-hmm. and, it, and it, it totally is aggravated unless I go and I spend five or 10 minutes priming okay, all my back muscles that are responsible for pulling my shoulders back before I go bench. And then when I actually put the, the work in and I do that, I get under the bench, I feel extremely comfortable. Yeah, yeah all the stabilizers, rotators, like like if you're not expressing any rotational movement at all, like this is going to become a problem. You're just not going to track as, as optimally as you could, even though, you know, it doesn't seem like it's even part of the process, right? Cause I'm just pressing the weight right in front of me. And all I have to do is this one simple move out in front. But if that's all you're emphasizing and you're loading that process continuously, it's going to stress and it's going to start pulling, you know, everything out of, out of track just a little bit to where you could count 
counter that by just expressing more movement that your shoulder is very capable of doing. So to take the time to really kind of, uh, you know, go through that and, and, and figure out where your where, where the sticking points are, where where the deficiencies lie is going to be like massively advantageous. If you, when you come back to bench, you're going to see a performance in, increase and also like it's just going to stabilize better, which then alleviates the pain. But yeah, you got to f- go back to the root and see what's going on. 